Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Uh, I had a random thought today to do a video. There is a pamphlet in recovery, at least from the substances. I don't know about like gambling or whatever else. Uh, it's called Medications and Other Drugs. Uh, here is a first-hand experience. Um, I'm pretty open about the fact that I suffer from severe depression. I take antidepressants. Um, and that in my years of sobriety, I've had four surgeries, two of them minor, two of them major. Uh, but there's two different things here, two different things I see. Mental health drugs, uh, prescriptions, or for injury, like the addictive stuff, the painkillers. Um, so I'm going to talk about some principles. First of the drugs for physical health, like the, the Painkillers, like you broke your knee. I take painkillers. And then medications. Um, and I do have a written out script here, so bear with me while I'll be glancing over. Uh, principles that I see having experienced taking antidepressants and had four surgeries while sober. Principles. Honesty, accountability, asking for help, and acceptance. Honesty. Uh, first surgery I had was on my second sober date. It was my second anniversary. I had a hernia in my groin. Uh, I'll give you the backstory of there was a misdiagnosis initially. Um, but when I wound up in the hospital for the second time, um, going in for the surgery, um, doctors, they, you fill out your forms, whatever it is, anyhow, and the Doctor or nurse asked, any allergies? Yes, penicillin and painkillers. Why? I have a problem. I can't take penicillin. And I also have a little bit of a, an addiction problem with the painkillers. Uh, alcohol is more my thing. But so you tell the doctor you have to be honest with yourself. Uh, the do I'm sorry, the doctor. You have to be honest with yourself. I learned something out of the second heart surgery, uh, second surgery, which is a heart surgery. So asking you know, honesty with yourself. So you, first you tell the doctor, you have to tell, ask yourself, do I need it now? Do I need it at all? You know, or can I delay it? Which is, do I need it now? Um, following the instructions on the bottle. When I had, the second surgery I had was a heart surgery. I ended up calling, sending out a text at 12, 1 o'clock at night. Anybody up? Guy responds. Guy, he probably does not remember this conversation. This was... 2012. So, um, and he said something very simple. I'm walking around, my ribs are broken, I can't breathe, and I couldn't move after the, you know, I had a heart surgery. So, he said something interesting. A couple of different things. He says, what does the bottle say? He said, every four hours or as needed. He goes, okay, so you write down when you took one. So at least four hours. And if you don't need it, you don't take it. Call somebody else at 12 o'clock or 1230 in the morning. And he hung up the phone. He called right back. We started laughing. Um, so you write down. You keep your schedule. So if you took one at 12 o'clock at night, the earliest you can take it. It doesn't mean you have to take it. It's 4 a.m. It doesn't mean you have to at 4 a.m. It means it's the earliest. If you can wait till 5, you wait till 5. Then the earliest is 9 o'clock. If you need it at 11, you know... At least four hours, that was my case, at least four hours, and if you don't need it, you don't take it. So, um, telling a sober friend when you take one. This is kind of along the same idea. You write down so you see clearly. Um, when I had my last heart surgery, which was about a year and a half ago, I wound up fainting shortly after the surgery, cracked my spine, um, back in the hospital, and they're like, no, 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 now we're changing the pills, and I got so confused, I was groggy, in pain, already, I already had painkillers in my body, and I was confused, and having to write on paper, so here's the instructions for this one, here's the instructions for this one, here's the instructions for this one, 
and having a clear picture because one, I know in my case I'm an addict, I'm not going to think clearly about it anyway. Two, I'm all fogged up from the painkillers that I am taking from a heart surgery. Now there's something else, there's a complication, I fainted and broke my spine. So you tell somebody when you're taking one. Not that they're going to remember it, but it holds you accountable. That's step four and five. Um, I said, tell the doctor you're an addict because I can tell you from the first two surgeries, let's say the first one was a hernia. He's like, oh, look at that. We have an, an honest addict. He was going to give Percocets. He wound up, he prescribed something else. Darvacet, watered down Percocet. He changed it. So that works. Um, but, and also along, and now I'm going to kind of go into asking for help, was that conversation I had with the guy at, at late at night. He said something very interesting. And I'm like, dude, my ribs are broken. I can't breathe. I can't walk. I can't move. He's like, you're trying to be the hero. You have all this pain. You're trying to get through it on your own. You just had a heart surgery, your ribs are broken. Take one. It's okay. This is where accountability comes in. You have to answer to your friend, your sponsor, to whoever it is, to your higher power. You have to answer to yourself as well. And saying, I cannot do this safely. I have to see clearly I can't think clearly on my own so if I took one at 12 o'clock at night and it's at least four hours at least 4 a.m you write down okay I took it at 5 30 a.m instead okay at least 9 30 a.m okay look at that it's 11 so helping you see because your mind will I know in my case in the hernia surgeries not so much but the days after the heart surgeries, being all cloudy and foggy and anesthesia and, and whatever painkillers. You have to see what you're doing. You have to ask for help. In my case, when I had the last heart surgery, which is about a year and a half ago, shortly afterwards, I fainted and broke my spine. More painkillers. Stop taking this one, but take that one. And I got confused. Staying with a family member, we live in the same city. And she had to hold it. Like, I don't think it was a problem that I wanted the pills. The problem was being confused. It would have led to a relapse. She held some of my painkillers because I was confused. Which would have led to a relapse. So that was a good idea. So you have to ask for help. Um, acceptance. I don't know if I'm going to word this properly. But... Whatever your case is, in my case, my main things were alcohol and weed. But, all right, I'll take some painkillers, take some Ritalins because I got a test coming, whatever it is. I've already abused the privilege of substances. Substances. I've already abused it. I have now taken, that, that privilege has now been taken away from me because I can't do it. Look at what all the trouble, I'm not going to tell you on, on the video what I, the, the things that went on in my life. I have abused the privilege and it has now been lost. I have taken from my future fun and ruined it. Can't do it anymore. Acceptance, I've done it, I've ruined it. Um, Admission, here's what I've written down. Admission to yourself that you cannot do this safely and you have been so humbled into a point where you have no choice but to follow directions. If you're an addict, you have no choice but to say, hey, doc, I screwed up in my uh, in a previous life. He knows I need surgery. You know, the doctor knows you need surgery. I can't do it safely. You know, you have to be honest. God, yourself, and another human being, the exact nature of your addiction. Um, but something to go into, this is actually my second take of this video, is psychiatric medications. I forgot this <clears throat> in the first video. I went to upload it and then realized it. Um, <clears throat> psychiatric medications. Uh, can be a touchy subject in recovery, but you have to be true to you. If you need them, you tell a doctor, I'm feeling, in my case, it's depression. 
it's uh, going into suicidal thoughts. You tell the doctor. Now, there are people who said, I've heard other stories. It happened to me once in early recovery. My mother probably remembers um, that I went down. Somebody in recovery told me that I was now so sober and no longer needed my meds for depression. Uh, there was a problem shortly thereafter, a very big one. So you do not have to listen to another sober friend, a sponsor, whatever it is, about your medications. Take these principles, honesty, accountability, asking for help and acceptance. They're asking for help. Hey, listen, in my case, it's, you know, I felt suicidal depression. I have felt it for all my adult life. Hey, doc, I'm having a problem. And I remember calling my doctor once and saying, listen, I'm having the, he wasn't there. It, was, it could have been six o'clock in the morning whatever time it was, calling his... Uh, no, no, what it was, it was a Sunday. That's what it was. Hysterical crying. This is a regular general doctor, not a psychiatrist. And you have to follow the plan that's right for you. If you're... Is, you know, something I've learned in recovery is there is more shame in having a problem than not getting help than vice versa. I don't know how to word it, vice versa. But... You know, flipping that around. It, it, it's, you have to get help. You only lose something if you have a problem and you don't get help. You don't ask for help. If you, you have to be real with yourself and your doctor. If that's the case, do you, you do it. You don't have to be ashamed in recovery that you might need Lexapro for antidepression. So... That's the thing. You cannot let anybody else tell you what you need if they're not a doctor. You can't let them tell you what you, that you need and don't need. You have to be honest with yourself and to a doctor. Hey, I'm feeling this way, this, that, and the other thing. So that is huge. I fell for that in early recovery. Um, if you need psychiatric medications, there's more shame in having a problem and not getting it and vice versa. So, that's it. You know, there is a, a pamphlet if you go to a meeting, a lot of the meetings have it. It's called Medications and Other Drugs. So, I hope there was this was a help and I will see you soon.